Cheers. Cheers. This drink is falling all over the place. What's up, world? It's your boss, International Zoe. I'm here in Cartagena, Colombia, with my friend Andrea. Did I say that right? Yeah, Andrea. How do I say it with a Spanish accent? Andrea. Andrea. See? Andrea. Okay. Um, I sat down with Andrea because you all often hear people talk about Cartagena or Colombia from their perspective, but they're not natives to the country. So I wanted to sit down with Andrea to find out, just get her perspective as a woman here in Cartagena, Colombia, and ask her a few questions from a native's perspective. We always hear from a content creators and their opinions, but um, let's hear from the people with boots on the ground, as they say. So how are you doing today, Andrea? I am good, thank you. You're good. Where were you born? Colombia, Bucaramanga. Bucaramanga. I heard about Bucaramanga and met a few girls from Bucaramanga. What's the difference between Bucaramanga and Cartagena? Mm, it's more bigger. It's, it's a bigger, bigger city. It's a bigger city. Mm -hmm. And we know a beach, but it's like, Bucaramanga is like Medellin. Same okay. bigger. Mountains. We, ha we have mountains. No, it's too cold like Medellin, okay. but it's the, uh, the weather is fresh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it warmer than Medellin? More warm. Yeah. More warm, okay. Um, how was the city developed? Is it developed like Medellin? Like metro Medellin is like very metropolitan. It has a train, it has, you know, skyscrapers. Uh, mm -hmm. Is it similar like that? Mm, not like that. Okay. Medellin is more bigger and they have many, uh, it's more. Um, I don't want to say when what's what is it is. more developed? No, when what city is more busy? More busy. Don't you don't know how to say it. No. In, in, so you don't know how to say it in English. In English. Okay. I don't remember in Spanish too. So. Okay. All right. <laughs> so, how? When did you move to Cartagena? Eleven years ago. Eleven years ago. Why did you move to Cartagena? For work. For work, okay. So do you feel it's more opportunity in Cartagena? Yeah. Is, it, sure. be yeah. is it because of tourism? Because it's a touristic city, uh -huh. so we have more opportunities here. Mm -hmm. We can work in different things, so yeah. Um, but the life is more expensive to here. Yes, this is probably one of the most expensive cities in Cartagena, yeah, right? I mean, expensive. in Colombia. It's very expensive. Definitely very expensive. How are the people different? The people from Bucaramanga and the people in Cartagena? Mm, the people in Bucaramanga is more quiet. They don't like too much party like the people here in Cartagena. It's, you know, it's party all the time, every day. They are more, it's more working people and more quiet. They don't like too much too much noises. Right. It's more clean. Bucaramanga is more clean. More clean. Yeah. Um, do you like Bucaramanga better than Cartagena? I love Cartagena. I like, I like Bucaramanga. I bought there and I like. It's more cheaper for live, but I love Cartagena. You love Cartagena? Yeah. Is it be, you like the beach? Because you the like people, the sun? the people here is more, more friendly. Okay. So in Bucaramanga, the people know it's too friendly. They're more bougie? Yeah. Ah. So, Are the people there more like uh, European, like white, white, more white, like yeah. like uh, Paisa, like mm -hmm. type of thing? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, how has uh, Cartagena changed in eleven years you've been here? Has it changed a lot, or was it similar all this time? Maybe chance, but not chance for better. You know. It changed for worse. Chapel Wars because a few years ago and the economy here you know, is worse like now, you know. Everything is more cheaper, the food is more cheaper, the uh, rent is more cheaper. Now everything is more expensive. And actually 
in Cartagena, we have a lot of touristic every day. And you don't see nothing different here. You can, you can come back in one year and maybe everything is the same. Right. Because the politics people, they stole everything here. The politicians, yeah. you feel, they take all the benefits. Yeah. So you see twice, three times as many tourists as before? Now it's a lot. It's, uh, 11 years ago, maybe no, it's a lot of tourists like, like now. You know, right. like, now we have a lot of tourist people every day from the United States, Paris, Europe, uh, right. Canada, right. everywhere. And you don't feel like they use the money to make the city better? No, they don't use it. Right. Um, how has the, the people coming in, like, well, how did you learn English? Because I lived in Chicago for one year. You lived in Chicago for one year? Yeah. So you met an American here? Yeah. Okay. And how do you like Chicago? How do you like America? I don't think I like. I, it's nice, you know, but the people here is the people there is different. Yeah. Only work and come back at home, and you know, it's different. Not, you, you don't know who is your neighbor. Yeah. You, you know everybody. Everybody. Right, right. In America, you can live next to someone, and people live don't speak to each other. Don't not this for is life. Why the people there make money because they only working and working and working all the time. They and focus the people, on money. Yeah, and the people here, they like to much enjoy everything, you right, know? Right. We have many holidays because we enjoy everything. Right. Okay, so why didn't you stay? Because the relationship end? Or? Because my relationship, uh, the end, and my son live here. Okay. And how old is your son? 13. Huh? 13. 13. Mm -hmm. And his father is Colombian too? Colombia. Colombian too, okay. So, when it came to the tourists start coming here more, right? How did you feel about that? Does it make the city more hectic, more crowded? What do you think about the influx of tourists coming here? I think it's good for the people because, you know, we have many people, they work in the beach. So when we don't have uh, people here, they can they can eat. Yes, because my friend Tony, he took pictures at the beach when, during COVID, and he was like, "Can you help me out, yeah, man? Yeah. I'm making no money." Yeah, I know work for eight months. Eight months, yeah. yeah because and, COVID here is is different than the United States. Yeah. We can go out. You only can go out one day in the week for buy food and do whatever you need to do, only one day in the week. That was miserable, right? Yeah, so. How long did they do that? Eight months. Eight months, wow. So did people go crazy once they start opening back up? Yeah, everybody's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> like, like when you have many animals in, in, in one room, yeah. and you close, open the door. or you open the door, and they ran like right out. It's crazy. Uh -huh. so, how do you personally, like as a Colombian woman, feel about foreigners? Are there differences from foreigners from different countries? And how do you feel like they treat the people? What's your experience been like interacting with foreigners? About the Colombian women uh, interacting with uh, American guys? Not just women and guys, but like the foreigners are here, so you see them you pass by them, you watch them. Do you, you know, like, you could say some foreigners are nice, some foreigners are mean, rude. Like, what's your experience? About the, the, um, the women in Colombia, we have different uh, mood, you know. Okay. You can uh, know women so uh, lovely, and, Gentle and you know, right. and you can know women is very rude and fight all the time and very crazy. Right. All women are like, it's crazy, right. but more, more, more women is more. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's, it's different. But the women from Cartagena, mm -hmm. they are more rude. More rude? Yeah. Uh huh. Why is that? Do you think? I don't know. Is that the culture? The culture, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Is that a coastal culture? Uh huh. Because uh, 
they get the same bad rap that uh, black people get in America kind of here, you know? Like, I was at a restaurant one time with a girl from Medellin, and the hostess was a Costanya, and she, like, made reference to that, you know, that they're rude and, and they don't like to work, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. and it made me think about that's the same rumor they have in America, you know what I'm saying? Which I was, I, I thought, and she probably didn't mean anything by it, like, people say that in America, they don't mean nothing by it, but it's still a similar thought pattern that, um, you know, that, do they speak different, the people here? Do speak they speak different? Yeah. We have different accents. Or accent, right. And your accent is from um, Boca Ramanga? Mm, I don't have Or is it mixed? <laughs> Maybe, yeah, mixed. You could distinctly tell girls from Medellin, though, the, the way they the, speak. The, uh, most people live here uh, from Cartagena. They listen to me when I speak, and they say, you're not from here. I say, no. All right, they and know. They know. Right. So, the women here, the guys that come here for the women, what, what do you feel about that when you see that? What do you think about that? <laughs> what does a person that's, okay, local people, they probably know what's going on, you know, in certain areas. How do they feel about that, you think? How they feel about that? Yeah. I don't know how they feel about that, but personally, I don't like Colombian men. You don't like Colombian, Colombian men? No. Why, why is that? They are very machist mm -hmm. and rude and violent and they like too much party and they are they know like responsibilities, you know. Mm -hmm. So So they they know focus only in the family, you know. They know that you can they can have the family uh -huh. and fa and looking for other women. So they like a lot of women. Yeah. They most guys like that. Is that the norm? Children. It's not the culture, right? So, are the do the women accept that that's the culture? Some women. Some women. So, do you find that being that you was because in because in Colombia all the time when uh, you, for example, my mother all the time saying you need a uh, you need a uh, do whatever your husband uh, tell you tell you right because. He support you, so you need everything he say. You need to do everything he say. You spoil him, or he spoiled? Huh? When when the mother says, "Do what your husband says," is that everything is? If he fight with me, I need quiet. Ah. If he uh, hit me, I can say nothing. That's the tradition. You do here. Okay, and they American men now are saying that. They're looking for traditional women, meaning not meaning that they want to uh, abuse them, but they want them to be agreeable. They use the words like agreeable, um, easy to get. Okay, so sorry we got interrupted, but um, there's a party going on here. <laughs> so you said the woman more focuses on the family. Not all women, but the most women. And the, and the thing is, I think that's lost in America. Like, the woman focuses on the family. In America now, the woman is more about her career first. I know. Then the family. And I think men want the opposite, the way it used to be. Not that the way it used to be was better, but if that's what you want and it's not here, then you go somewhere else to get it, right? But how does the men and the women here feel about that tradition? Like, do the men here stay married to their woman? Or they get divorced? Or they don't get married? The, the most uh, couples, they, they live together and maybe never marry, you okay. know, maybe marry. I, I, I live with the father and my son for nine years and I never marry. Right. So, the most, the most uh, couples here is that. So they are, they believe in, in the marriage, and the most women, they, the most women here, we don't believe in the divorce. You don't believe in the divorce? No. So whether you... you marry with one person, it's your uh, husband for all life. 
Where'd you, where'd you learn? Because it's very it's different. True. It's, it's very true. different in America. I know, but... So, but, so, does that make you be more careful of who you marry here? Because... Okay, when you have kids and you have your husband, you want your kids to uh, uh, stay with your father, right? right. Same house, they have a good family. Right. So, this yes. is why you need to have family so, but together. We, but when they do break up, right? If people break up, is it the woman that wants to break up or is it the man that wants to break up? Here, in your opinion. My opinion, men. The men. Men leave the woman for other women. Other, other women, women, the younger women, yeah. a lot, right? Yeah. Same thing all over it's the happened. world, right? So, being that you was in a relationship with an American man, right? Did you like that better than a relationship here or it just all depends? Did you like the tradition of, of foreign men, the way they treat women, or okay, different? Well, I don't know, because he's Mexican. Oh, he was Mexican? He was Mexican. Okay. So he had different so, culture, you know? Yeah, that's true. He's yeah. Mexican. That's interesting. That's definitely different. He was Mexican. I, I just assumed maybe he was a black guy, but he was Mexican. So that's because different. Because I, like, like, I like black guys. You like black guys. And you know that. <laughs> <laughs> what is it that you like about black guys? Because they know who try the women. Say that again? They know who try the women. They know how to treat the women. And it's funny that we get a bad rap in America, but I've heard from women in other countries say that black men treat women good. I guess because a lot of black... when, when you tested the chocolate, you know one chocolate white, right? <laughs> you tested one time, one time chocolate, you don't, you don't want chocolate white. Yeah, you just want chocolate from there on out. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, last thing, because they're playing the music loud now. Yeah. So, Hello. no, I was just trying to say the music is loud. We're trying to do a little okay. interview. It's just not a problem, sorry. Okay, so tell me how you feel about the influx of Venezuelan people. Like, when we're out eating here and at the beach and doing a lot of things, there's a lot of Venezuelan people that uh, seem to be, they're struggling. They have the babies, they always ask them for money, ask them for food. Sometimes you don't know if they just, that's what they do every day or if they really need it. So how has that changed Cartagena? In your a opinion? A lot. We have many, many people from Venezuela here. Right. But he's saying in your country you have many Mexican people or the other country, you know? Right, right. The problem is they come here and they don't do good things, you know? Mm -hmm. They stole, they kill people. Mm -hmm. And you go to the center yeah. sometimes. So yeah. I know just the people. If you need to do something for a May morning, it's right. your decision, you know? Right. But if you come here, like the people go to the United States for the war, right. a lot, you know, and make your money in good Go way. there for a good reason. Yeah, yeah. To build yourself up. But if you come here and you only uh, stole people, kill people for no reason, no, it's good. Right. And we have a lot of that. A lot of people. A lot of it. So you think... So the most people, you listen in the news, they, they kill somebody for a stole the phone, it's Venezuela. Right, so you think Venezuelans do most of the crime in yeah. Cartagena no, yeah. particularly? Yeah. Yeah. And is that because they are poor, they don't have, that they're because doing they the crime? Because they don't have papers. Right. So yeah. they, they can't find a good job. Job, if they don't have the papers. They don't have the papers. Right. So they, they maybe found a, one job, but not pay too much. Right. And they say that they don't pay them the way they pay Colombians because they don't have the papers. They so they don't have, the have to pay them the same. Yeah, yeah. If that's if they have yeah. get a job. Yeah. So you think so you think in your opinion it made Cartagena more dangerous? Depending where you are. Right. Depending where you are. So what parts? Do you think it's the tourist area or is it I think the, the other? actually I think the three the tourist area is the um, area more safe. The safest area, okay. Yeah, because you don't have motorcycles for everywhere here. Right. We have motor, and, and where I live, in my area, we have motorcycles all the time. A lot, yeah. And 
this is the people stole the people. Right. They say no more two people on a motorcycle, no, no yeah, more, right? Yeah. And then they say certain and days see, they can't ride. You see the most time the police is in this area, right. not in the other area, you know? Right. But so even I think this area is but, more safe. It's protected. Yeah. Whereas in the other local areas, it's not protected. Wow. Can you tell who is Venezuelan or not easily or no? Because when I first came here, like 2018, I didn't know the difference. I just thought everybody was Colombian. But as time went on, you was like, no, I'm Venezuelan. And da, da, da. As a Colombian, can y'all tell? The economy is more slow mm -hmm. when they come because and in the moment when they don't have papers, they uh, can find one job. So for example, uh, one people, uh, Colombian men working in the construction, you know? Right. And he has papers. But one people from Venezuela, he come and he say, okay, give me this job and I- uh, Take less money. Less money. They take it out. Yeah. That, that happened with the Mexicans in some areas in America. And some of the people would beat up the Mexicans yeah. for taking their job. That happened here too? They fight because yeah, of that? Yeah. Okay. Well, what I was asking is that if you see a person, can you say, oh, they Venezuelan, they're not Colombian? Or do, or is it they so close if, you can't if they, tell? If they speak. Okay. They speak different. They speak different. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool. <laughs> I, I think that's most of the questions I had. I don't really have no. No th okay, one more question, like, um, how is it, uh, okay, when Colombian women or Venezuelan women see um, foreigners, right? Like, they what? When they see foreigners, uh -huh. right? Like, I met a girl who works in a restaurant, right? Um, one other girl, she was a teacher, but it still seemed like they wanted, like, money, you know what I'm saying, to, like, Oh, uh, sure, I'll meet you and go out, but I need you to pay for my babysitter. Like, stuff like that. And the girl in the restaurant, she was like, um, oh, can you bring me a gift before you leave? <laughs> so, is that customary even for Colombian men? Or is, do you think when they see a foreigner, they think um, money? In your opinion? In my opinion, if you go out for a day, with one woman, you are okay. If you invite so, uh, some, eat something, and pay the taxes, no more. Right. You don't need to pay the babysitter. You know how babysitter. Right. Right. But because you are American, right. they know they think. Right. Okay. Because the people think the Americ the American guys have, have money. Right. No, all American guys have money. Right. Right. They can come here for vacation, but no, it's, I mean they have a lot of money. Yeah. You know. Right. So the people is wrong about that. Right. And some of them think like, you know, like oh that's that's not no money. A hundred dollars is that's no money. Yeah. And the and the and the grand scale is not. But when you think about how much work it takes to produce the hundred dollars. And then when you think about how much, like the average salary here is like a thousand dollars a month in US dollars. You know what I mean? So. The minimum? When I was Googled it, it said like, in your opinion, what is it? Uh, the minimum, the salary minimum here is one million, one, uh, 13, so that's like five hundred and fifty dollars or something. Less. So, but they said on a Google, like a thousand. You know what I mean? Okay. For a month. So that would break up to maybe like two fifty a week. Maybe, yeah. Maybe. So maybe that's a even that's a good um, interpretation of what people might make. You say probably less. So when you think about it, yes, they just think that. Um, they have more money to burn as a foreigner, yeah, yeah. probably. And yes, there's always because a- Because maybe you uh, you made more money because the yeah. United States, they pay you for hours. Yeah. Here in Colombia, we pay for day. 
Right. That's what I try to explain to somebody. They try to tell, break it down in hours, and I was like, they don't get paid by the hour in Colombia. They got, okay, depends, depends the world, but they can pay one day 30 pesos. 30 pesos. What you buy with 30 pesos. Right, right. You know, nothing. Right. So what would be a good job paying a good amount of money? Like, what number would that be per month in Cartagena? Like, if you someone the felt like they had a good job. You need a liar, a architect. You got an engineer, lawyer, yeah, architect, doctor, yeah, yeah. make good money. Yeah. And how much would that be? So in Colombia, you need to go to the college. You have to have college something. if you want to make money. Yeah. And how much would be good money, like, for them? How much would be good money? For per month. Would you consider good money? For a professional. Okay, the father of my son is professional. Uh -huh. He went for a month eight, eight millions. Eight million. Eight million. So that's maybe like twenty five hundred a month, something like that. I don't know. You don't know, but okay, eight million is good pay for a professional pay, here. Yeah. And I'll do the calculation later. But y'all have it. They playing music, so it's hard for me to think. And the music is getting loud. But thank you for your time. You're thank you for answering some questions. I'm sure some of the people appreciate the conversation. And um, I forgot, she is an event planner. So if you ever want to be here in Cartagena and do an event, um, let me know. I will contact you with Andrea and uh, maybe she can help you do a party or whatever. You do like uh, uh, when bachelor parties and stuff like that because some men come here for bachelor parties and yeah, things like that yeah. or maybe a group of women might come here to celebrate you know now people have parties for getting divorced <laughs> in america it's a new thing <laughs> they have divorce yeah, but, divorce parties uh, birthdays and birthdays and mean. everything i know i have contact for apartments too boots uh, boats too boats whatever, apartments yeah, everything yeah. okay it's your kind of, another connect thank you you're welcome, sir. All right. <laughs> Subscribe, snitches!